What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome today to a very special video for the start of the footies. It's something that everyone knew was going to be coming into FIFA 16. It's just been a question of when everyone thought it might be coming in the next couple of weeks. And EA have officially announced that the voting period starts right now. Now, the footies this year is a little bit different to the way it was last year. If you don't know what the footies are, by the way, it's basically people vote on a player to get a special card with boosted stats, but it has nothing to do with their performance in real life. It's all down to who you prefer in the game and who you want to get the special cards. And last year, you voted for your player, the player got a pink card, you could go out and pack that pink card with the boosted stats or buy it or what have you. But this year, it's a little bit different because all the players that have been nominated for the pink footies cards have automatically got a pink, ca pink card but with just their regular base card stats. Now what's going to happen is when the voting closes, those cards that win their uh, their respective uh, their respective categories, if you want to call it that, will then get automatically their, their card stats boosted up. So it's going to be interesting to see. There's potentially some trading that could be done now where you can go out and buy a player that you think may win the category, get him at a lower price now, gamble on it, and then if that player does get the uh, to, does win his category, then he will of course get his price his stats boosted. And in theory, if you bought at the right price, his price will increase. So it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how people trade with this. And I just think it's cool to have a, another set of cards in the game that are pink. I mean, I, I assume that the pink cards. Well, they, I, I, I say I assume they are. They, they are no different whatsoever to their regular cards, apart from the fact that they are pink. But what, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the categories, have a look at what there is and what players you can vote for. I should also mention you can get the pink footies players in the draft right now. You can do a draft and get the pink footies players from all the categories. And there is also a tournament available which has no entry requirements. And if you win this tournament, you get 5,000 coins and a mystery pack, which is pretty decent. But um, yeah, the categories we're going to start off. Forgive me if I'm looking over here. I'm looking at my computer screen to look through the categories myself we have first of all got the brick wall which is the goalkeepers one and we've got uh, we've got Leno we've got Handanovic we've got Laurie we've got Ter Stegen it's um it's a pretty open category that one I personally I think would go for Handanovic he's a goalkeeper that I really like this year without doubt always performs super super well for me uh, you can see the cards that's what they look like now without their boosted stats of course they will the winner get their stats boosted. I'll repeat that again when the voting closes. I will put a link to this page in the description, by the way. So if you want to vote, you can do. I won't be doing that right now. We're just going to be walking through it. But um, the setting, second category we've got is the Get Stuck In category. That has got sort of CDMs in there. So the likes of Kadira Katamola, who I think also had... Uh, who also got nominated in this category last year. We've also got Nardra de Jong and Luis Gustavo. Now, last year, I think Luis Gustavo was in there, but didn't win it, if I remember correctly. And I would love to get a special Luis Gustavo card myself, that'd be awesome, I really think he's a quality CDM on this game and what is going to be interesting is how they rate these footies compared with other special cards, now what I mean by that is for example, let's see if we can find, in, find one in the next category, so the next category we've got here is the skillers delight, so we've got Balassi, McGeady, Nani and Maxim, now this is a good example because if someone like, we'll scroll down so you can see the cards, if someone like Maxim got one, he has of course not got a single special card this year, would they push him up by two ratings, three ratings, four ratings? Nanny, of course, has got a team of the season. Now, surely a footies card cannot go above a team of the season, so will it just be better than his best in form? It's really difficult to call, actually. I imagine the footies card will be better than the player's best regular special card. And what I mean by that is it won't be better than a team of the year, it won't be better than a team of the season, but it will be better than a regular in form and a man of the match, that kind of card. But you can see the skillers category. I think a Balassi would be really cool. There's only the one in form Balassi this year so far, I believe, which is a Cam. Uh, the next category we have got... Is the pot shots. Uh, we've got the likes of Gilpie Sigurdsson, who I'd really like to see because I love Gilpie Sigurdsson. I think it'd be awesome for him, especially if it jumped over his International Man of the Match card. We've also got Hernanes, we've got um, Cal Hagnelu, and we've got Quad Griarella. I've completely butchered that name. Quad Griarella. Forget it. We're going to leave that as it was. But for me, I would like to see Sigurdsson or Cal Hagnelu in that category. The next category we've got is the heads first. Or head first, sorry. We've got Adaris, who's got a team of the season already. Slamani also already got a team of the season. De Jong's also got a team of the season. Mandzukic has not, so this could potentially be Mandzukic's best card on FIFA 16. Again, you can see the pink cards there. Next category we've got is the two-footed master. Now, this is a category that I like because I love a five-star weak foot player. 
Not only that, we got Ben Yedder, who's of course got a team of the season. We have got Christian Eriksen, whose footage card last year was absolutely phenomenal. We've got uh, Perisic, which would be pretty cool to have. He's not got a team of the season. We've got Tony Cruz in there as well, which would be pretty nice. He's also not got a team of the season, so the five-star weak foot one. There's a lot of potential for a really nice card there that hasn't already got. Like, it would be their best card in the game, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of potential there. The next category we've got is the one club band. We've got uh, Daniele Di Rossi. We've got Francesco Totti. We've got John Terry and Buffon now. Buffon would be a nice one. Terry would be a nice one as well. Uh, Buffon's got a team this season, actually, so it wouldn't be as great. Terry, of course, has not. Uh, De Rossi would be a nice one as well. But uh, Totti, you cannot see his card being better than his classic hero card. So, again, I think that would be a bit of a pointless one myself. Uh, next one, then, we have got the engine room. We have got Yanusovic. We've got James Milner. We've got William and Cavani. Cavani or William would be nice for me there. Again, neither of those have got a team this season. I'm not too interested in Yanusovic or James Milner. Next category up, we have got the most improved, where we've got Red Morris, Deli Alley, Jeremy Vardy, and Eric Dyer. Now, this category has got a lot of potential, but the trouble is, all four of them have got a team of the season card. So again, it's going to be pretty interesting. Morris has got a ton of in form, so I don't think he... It, it, it'd be a wasted one, potentially, on Riyad Morris. Ali would be cool, in my opinion. Also, Eric Dyer would be a pretty nice one. So it'd be interesting with Eric Dyer, because he's only a silver, if they made him a gold, because he's sort of most improved. That'd be pretty cool if they did, even though his team of the season is, of course, a silver. Now, the next category down, we've got the Maestro. We've got David Silva, Mr. Ozil, Pjanic, and De Bruyne. And this category for me, lads, makes me just drool with excitement, because obviously, being a Man City fan, David Silva would be amazing. Not had the greatest season, not get any informs, I don't think, off the top of my head. So that'd be a really nice one. We've got Pjanic, who's got a team of the season, so in my opinion, again, it's a bit of a pointless one to vote for him. We've then got ourselves De Bruyne, uh, Mr. Ozil, sorry, Ozil has, of course, also got a team of the season. And De Bruyne hasn't got a team of the season, but he has got the international man of the matches. So if they were to over overtake that, that would give him, I believe, a 93 rated card, which would be absolutely insane if that was the case. So I would definitely be voting for De Bruyne. And I think this is the last category now, which is class is permanent. We've got some old school players here. Eto already got a team of the season, so pointless in my opinion. Um, Hernandez would be cool, although again, he's already got a team of the season. We've also got ourselves uh, Diara would be a pretty nice one, and Ben Arthur. Um, ben Arthur, I don't, I don't know why Ben Arthur's got that one. Is it because it's a player that's gone off the boil and then they've come back and proven themselves? Is that what the point is of this one? I sort of, when I saw classes permanent, thought it was going to be all older players that are still cutting, if, if that makes sense. But looking at it now, I suppose Hernandez got released and proved himself. Ben Arthur did the same. So I can see where they're going with that one. But um, Hernandez team of the season, Ben Arthur team of the season, um, Eto team of the season. So for me, the only person to logically vote for there would probably be Diara. Is that the last category? No, it's not. Uh, is it? Yeah, that is the last category. I apologise. So, uh, four plus... I, I, I don't know what this is at the end there, but whatever. That is the last category. Like I said, that's the footies. I'm really looking forward to these coming out. Hopefully, it'll breathe a little bit more life into FIFA 16, which is completely died on its feet. The combination of it nearly being FIFA 17 and Pokemon Go hype being so massive right now has really killed off the game. It'll also mean play reviews will be coming back. Fingers crossed throughout the footies. We'll be able to get our hands on some of them because it's been quite some time since I've done a play review, and that's something that a lot of you subscribe to the channel for so sorry there hasn't been many recently but with the lack of good team of the weeks etc there's just been no point basically so um really looking forward to these footage coming out let me know in the comment section down below who you're going to be voting for again i'll put a link to this page where you can vote in the description down below thank you all for watching the video lads have a great night Nidge out yo he's Nidge plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane he entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode he got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it he's got the confidence in all his commentaries videos range they often vary got need for speed and a road to glory just watching vids and you know the story the content is underrated i'm understating so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running it takes one second like it's free it costs nothing peace